Hello everyone. Welcome to our tutorial on Android Material Design Animation. I'm Annie from Smart Hut. In the last video, we had studied about the slide transition implementation in our application. In this video, we will be learning about the fade transition activity transition. So what exactly is fade transition? Fade transition adds or removes a view from the scene by changing its opacity. By changing its opacity means it will just fade out of the screen or it will fade into the scene. On the left side of the screen, you can see the demo application that we will be building for the fade transition. On clicking the button for the fade transition using the Java code, you can see the next activity just fades into the screen and on pressing the exit button, it just fades out. This is what fade transition is all about. It is so simple and easy to implement. Let us switch to Android Studio and start writing the codes. In the activity main.xml, on clicking this button, the fade transition by Java method will be executed and on clicking the XML button, the fade transition by XML will be executed. So let us move to our main activity.java and write the codes for both the functions. There is no difference in the codes but the key animation type and the key title. So we will just copy and paste the code for both the functions and change it to fade java. Here fade by code and here it will be fade by xml. The animation type will be fade xml. This fade xml and fade java are the constants which I have defined in the constants dot java fade java and fade xml. Now let us move to transition activity dot java and write code for implementation of the fade transition using the java code. Like the slide class and the explode class, we also have a class for fade transition. So let us define the object for the fade transition. Set the duration for the fade transition. We will fetch this duration from the constant that we have defined in our diamond.xml file. Let us set it to medium which is defined for the 300 milliseconds. Now setting the fade transition in our window. Same way for the fade XML, we will implement it the same way we had implemented for slides XML. Let us just copy and paste the code. And for the fade transition, we will have the XML file as fade.xml. Let us define this fade.xml in our transition folder. And inside this fade.xml, we will define the set for the fade, setting its duration to 1000 millisecond. Like the other two transition, the explode transition and the slide transition, we can also set its interpolator and make difference in our transition. You can try it yourself and see the changes in the fade transition. So now we have added the codes in main activity.java for execution using the Java code and the XML file for fade transition. We have defined the XML file in the transition folder. In the transition activity.java, we have handled both the cases for fade Java and fade XML. Now let us run our application and see how the fade transition looks. Here is our application up and running. Let us click on the fade transition Java code and we can see how the other activity fades into the screen. On clicking the back button, it fades out the same way. For the XML file, on clicking the XML execution, let's check what's the error here. For fade transition, we need to define this as transition set. Now let us run our application and see the XML execution. Now on clicking this XML button, we can see we have executed the fade transition successfully. On clicking the back button, how the transition activity fades out of the scene. 
So this is what fade transition is all about. We can mark here a thing. When we click any of this button to execute the explode transition, slide transition or fade transition, we can see the transition activity having the transition. But our main activity is laying here still. Our main activity is without any transition. We would obviously prefer for both the activities to have the entry and the exit transition. So in the next video, we will be learning about implementing the transition in our main activity as well. And when we implement the transition in the main activity, we will see few things to take care of and execute the transition in a beautiful manner. That's all for this video. Stay tuned and have a good day.